Let's take a look at number 14 and 15. Number 14, we want to open the relationships window. So we're going to go to database tools, relationships, and we want to add the project table. So I'm going to click on add tables. A list of my tables comes up and I can simply double click on project and we want to open the consultant table. So I will double click on consultant. Now once I have done that, I can go ahead and close my show table dialog box. And I think because I've worked through this already, I already have this here. So let's pretend like that is not there. I actually can't get rid of it because I've already um, done something with it, but I can still show you this. So I want to create a one-to-many relationship between the consultant and the projects table. So what I would do in this case is I am going to take my consultant ID, which is the primary key for the consultant table, and I'm going to click, hold, and drag to the consultant ID in my project table, which is the foreign key for my project table. And you can see it has a one, and then that's the infinity symbol, so it's a one-to-many relationship. When you do create this table, you're going to get an edit relationships dialog box that pops up. Now mine's not quite what yours looks like, but it's also asking you, number 14, to enforce referential integrity on the, rela uh, on the relationship. So just make sure you put a check mark right here. Number 15, with the relationship window still open, we want to add the standard skill table. So again, I'm just going to click on Add Tables to bring up my Show Table dialog box, and I'm adding the standard skill. So I'm just going to double click on that. Now I can close this dialog box. And you can move these boxes around, these tables, and you can resize these boxes as necessary. Like this one here, maybe I don't want to scroll up and down, so I could resize this. So now what we are going to do is create a one-to-many relationship between the standard skill table and the consultant table using the skill code. So again, I'm good. Mine's already here. I don't think it's going to allow me. It's not allowing me to, because I've already worked through this whole thing. Oh, there it went. So now I'm just going to click, hold, and drag from here to my skill code. My edit relationships dialog pops up. You'll notice that this is automatically filled in here. And now the only thing I need to do is enforce referential integrity. And then create. And again, notice I have a one to many. That's my infinity symbol right there.